Hey guys, Matt Kentucky Range Time, and the series that everybody's been waiting on, the 44 Mag Ballistic Gel Block Test, is kicking off right now. And we will start this series off with the Lehigh Defense 220 grain Extreme Penetrator Bullet. And uh, this is a solid copper offering from Lehigh Defense. It's the one with the funky screwdriver looking tip on the front end of it. And they make this in many different calibers and, and different grain weights. So we have selected the 220 grain weight for this 44 mag gel block test. And let's turn around here and take a look at the loading and then we'll get on out to the range and we'll see how this thing actually performs. All right, so here's a look at the loading on this one. Uh, CCI 350 large pistol magnum primers, accurate number nine powder, Lehigh Defense uh, extreme penetrator bullet and some of you guys like the part numbers on those, so there's a good look at that. And then here is a good look at our actual loaded round. And uh, there is a pretty good chunk of this bullet down in the case. And we do have a fairly heavy crimp on this as well. So uh, just uh, the special tip design on this bullet is designed to compress tissue uh, in front of it and, and force that compression uh, as an energy release out to the sides of the wound channel. So uh, keep an eye on the, uh, on the wound tracks and uh, the, the slow motion to see how this thing actually performs to be just a big round chunk of lead, or sorry, just a big round chunk of copper. So, all right guys, let's uh, let's get on out to the rings and we'll be back to look at the results here in just a minute. All right guys, next up is the uh, Lehigh Defense 220 grain extreme penetrator all copper bullet. And uh, let's see what it does out of this 20 inch rifle. Velocity of 1522.3, and let's go check out the catch. All right, guys, wound track starting right here, and about an inch and a half in, we start getting some permanent wound cavity. Uh, the, the, the cavitation effect from the from the front end of this bullet, uh, you know, takes a, just a second to get going once it gets that compression in, and we got nice permanent wound channel down here about 10 and a half to 11 inches. Settles down just a little bit after 10 inches. Uh, comes down, looks like we might get some tumbling, maybe some more twist down here about 23, 24 inches. And we get final penetration down here at 30 and one half inches. So there that is guys. Uh, did not expect any expansion on this. Honestly, we could probably pull these out and load them and shoot them again. All right, let's see what the nine and a half inch Ruger Super Red Hawk does. All right, guys, next up is the Ruger Super Red Hawk with the Lehigh Defense 220 grain extreme penetrator. Velocity of 1421.6 foot per second. And let's go check this one out. All right guys, so we've got some, uh, we got some permanent wound gravity, again, starting up here about an inch and a half, but not hardly the same shape as the rifle. Uh, we open up here quite a bit at six inches and then take a really nice permanent wound channel starting here around nine inches, extending out to about 14. And then after this point, uh, this bullet starts to tumble. So here's a tumble pattern from 20, another one from 22 to 27. And there is our bullet laying actually right at 32 inches backwards. All right, so we actually got more penetration with the nine and a half inch Super Red Hawk than we did with the 20 inch lever action. Let's go back and see what this four inch Taurus can do. All right guys, next up is the Taurus uh, Tracker in 44 Magnum. This is sold as a four inch barrel, 
truly this is a three inch barrel. It's got three inches of rifling and full barrel. And then the barrel has a relief cut in it where the, the ports are. The last inch is nothing but a port. Uh, so uh, you're actually losing compression after three inches. So I'm gonna be curious to see how this performs against the two and three quarter inch Smith & Wesson here in a few minutes. Uh, that'll be something we want to look at is the velocities between these last two pistols since this is sold as a four inch barrel, but it does only have three inches of uh, a threaded barrel in it uh, before it hits. The so again, the round's going to be the Lehigh Defense 220 grain extreme penetrator. Let's see what this does. Velocity of 1210.6. Let's go check out the catch. Okay, so our wound track starts right here. We've got that by inch and a half in again. We've got that nice permanent wound channel starting up here. Uh, opens up a little bit, increases size down to about 10 inches. Then it starts to close up a little bit down to 13. Uh, it looks like we've got some straight line penetration, maybe some tumbling going on here. Here's a big tumble point, uh, kind of centered out here, 23 and a half inches, and total penetration down here at 30 and one half inches. And this was with the Taurus Tracker Model 44. All right, next up is the Smith & Wesson Model 69. This is the 44 Combat Magnum. And this is an L-frame revolver, five shot. Um, be running the Lehigh Defense, 220 grain extreme penetrator round. Uh, the velocity with the Taurus was 1210. And I'm gonna be curious to see how this two and three quarter inch barrel stacks up against the four inch barrel that's actually just three inches. So 1210, let's remember that. And as soon as we get the velocity on here, we'll, we'll start out by, by gauging that. Looks like I've left my yardstick on top of the gel block down here, so we might get to see some acrobatics. How about that? 11.56. Versus 1210. That's quite interesting. I'm going to run another one of these into the backstop. Just to get a little more velocity data. Uh, 27.6. All right, so not horrible numbers. I may have to go back and, and shoot a couple more in the backstop with the Taurus and uh, get, a, get a better average there as well. All right, let's go see what this looks like down here. All right, so entry is right here. Again, by about an inch and a half, two inches in, we start to get some permanent wound cavity forming. Got some nice action going on down here around five and a half, six inches. Looks like it kind of curves down at that point and uh, goes behind this wound track, comes back out right here, getting some straight line penetration, more straight line penetration. And here we sit at about 20, six and three quarter inches of total penetration. It's the one that's on the bottom right here. All right, so absolutely no surprises here. Uh, the only real difference you're gonna see between these fired bullets and, uh, and the one on the far left uh, is the rifling marks and a little bit of discoloration. Uh, these bullets uh, pretty much are all the same. Uh, 
if you look really close, you might be able to pick out the rifle round that had a much, much, much slower twist uh, in the rifling than the three pistol bullets did. Uh, if you've got a guess on that, leave it in the comments and we'll confirm later. Uh, honestly, and you've heard, you've heard me say it on previous videos, you can, and I have actually taken these bullets and loaded them again and, and fired them again. Uh, and you do not suffer any, any negative results as far as the, the accuracy of these, uh, from my personal experience. So, uh, all right. So how about that guys? Uh, the performance in this thing was just amazing. We had a nice, large, long temporary wound cavity, um, uh, had a decent permanent wound cavity, uh, after this thing had already gone through and we were between 26 and 32 inches of, of penetration in the gel block with this round. So that's, uh, that's pretty amazing. Uh, and absolutely no deformation on this bullet. So, uh, you know, just this thing did in this test exactly what it's designed it to do. And, uh, uh, the slow motion video just, just proved that. So anyway, just a, a really good, uh, effective caliber. And you don't have to worry about, you know, this thing fracturing, mushrooming out, breaking off into a bunch of pieces. If you need that deep penetration, if you're, if you're doing bear or backwoods country, some big animal that you're more worried about deep penetration and expansion, this is one of the bullets that you need for that. So, all right, guys, questions and comments. I'd be glad to have those, post them up. Um, let me know what you think about the slides. Uh, I've been doing previously on the other test videos, I've been doing slides with the bullet weights and, and the velocities and the, the dimensions on the expansion. Uh, all that data is also being reproduced into my spreadsheet. So I'm going to streamline a little bit unless you guys cry out and say, we, we want to see those. Um, if you do, I'd be glad to put those up, but at, at this point, I'm going to streamline for a couple of videos. And if I get feedback saying that, you know, we, so we, we could see those again, then I will, I will start adding those back into future videos. But for now, I'll leave it up to you guys to let me know in the comments. And that's what we'll do. Um, if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button and Matt from Kentucky range time. We'll see you on the next one.